Assalamu alaikum and greetings. Alishan Mo here. Welcome to my little main cave and to my little messy table. Today I'm going to talk about micro receivers for FPV racing quadcopters, in particular the Tupics FPV Whoops or micro FPV racers. As you can see, I have just got the Tyrannis X90 Plus Special Edition 2019 version. Uh, this is one of my favorite to go uh, radio control to fly all kind of FPV racing quadcopters. Uh, I don't. I do not use this radio for anything else except the FPV racing quadcopters and drones. So now there are plenty of micro receivers, cheaper ones, available in the market from Free Sky. But my major issue with those receivers is that uh, sometimes it's difficult to get RSSI. Sometimes it's difficult to set up. Sometimes, many times, I had faulty receivers did not work properly. And the biggest thing is when when you are setting up like your quadcopters, micro FPV quadcopters. On a small table like this, running better flight on the computer, your quadcopter often gets too close to the computer, uh, too close to the radio control because you know you are doing setup quadcopters there connected to USB, and you are holding the radio here very close to the quadcopter, and you do not see anything moving in the better flight, like no channels are giving any output, and you're like, what is happening? You have to move the radio control away, and you know things start moving. So to say that when the radio control gets close to the quadcopter with those free sky micro receivers, they will you know, lose control, complete blackout, there's no control left. And similarly, when you're flying and if the whoop or quadcopter sometimes get closer to you, you will lose control, it will drop like a turd to the ground. <laughs> and yes, I often wanted to fly FPV racing quadcopters or micro whoops, uh, or micro FPV racing quadcopters or FPV whoops with my Futaba radio control, but there wasn't any good option for micro receivers for the Futaba. Futaba protocols like SFHSS uh, protocol, there wasn't any good option for that. All the receivers are like giant and expensive receivers. But now I'm happy that I made the crossover. They are making some really nice receivers. I, I got three receivers here, two for Futaba, SFHSS, these are micro receivers, and one for uh, Free Sky Radio. I mean, I mean, check this out. Look at this, the size of this receiver. This is this is, these are micro receivers and they are very easy to set up. Uh, there's, uh, there are enough, they are very brief, to the point, nice instructions. Comes with each and every receiver for you to instantly set up or properly set up your receiver with your quadcopter. So now let's take a closer look at the receivers because these are really tiny, I cannot hold them in hands. We'll talk about their features as well. So if you look at their website, I got the XR602T F2 for free sky. It is okay, and I got uh, XR602TS for Futaba SFHSS, and I got XR601TS for Futaba SFHSS. Okay, first off, you can see they are packed very nicely. I'm gonna uh, take out the XR602TF2 uh, receiver. This is for uh, Free Sky. So inside the bag, you have a user manual, okay, uh, and instructions. And instructions at the back side are really very brief and very easy to understand for you to basically set up your receiver properly. It shows all the pins and everything, where you have to solder what, okay, it also shows better flight setup, okay, CLI settings, receiver settings, and binding procedure. Now look at the size of this receiver. I mean, this is really nice and small, very easy to set up, and very easy to install in your micro FPV quadcopters or FPV whoops. There's a little bind button right here that you can press and hold and the thing that I like about these receivers is that you don't have to press and hold the bind button and power on the receiver in order to put it in bind mode which was kind of you know really annoying sometimes make it very very difficult for you to hold it press and hold the button and then you know put on I mean connect the battery to a micro FPV quadcopter and wait for it to you know go into bind mode that many times you don't even get it right so now I like it you power it on first you power on your quadcopter first and then you can press and hold this little button for two seconds and your receiver will enter into bind mode after take off this sticker, you can see the build quality, the soldering quality on this receivers, uh, on, on each and every crossover receiver is basically very nice, very nicely done. 
all right so this was uh, let me put this thing back on just in case so I remember which receiver it is okay let me put the sticker back on so I remember which is uh, which receiver it is because it's difficult to tell so this was a uh, 602 uh, TF2 receiver for FreeSky with dual antennas now here is 601 TS for SFHSS Futaba radio again tiny little receiver with one antenna and once again the instructions and the features of the receivers are on this user manual and here is 602 TS for Futaba SFHSS protocol so one has so one receiver has only one antenna one has dual antennas dual antennas definitely is better reception as well now one thing that you're gonna appreciate about these uh, crossover receivers is that they have variable RF link technology which eliminates the possibilities of your quadcopter or your drone going out of control or having no control when the receiver is very close to your radio control so variable RF technology means as soon as receiver finds that it's coming close to the radio it will adjust the LNA gain and PA output power lower to avoid short distance control failure automatically now that is something that I actually like about these receivers the variable RF link technology that means you can actually get close uh, keep your radio or uh, quadcopter close to each other and they will not go out of control because the receiver will set the uh, gains LNA gains and PA output power accordingly as soon as it detects the radio is coming closer to the receiver now the crossover also have a developer module right here uh, so you can plug your uh, receivers for either a firmware upgrade I will be able to use developer module to upgrade the firmware for uh, these receivers should I need alright so having to have three receivers two for Futaba and one for FreeSky I will be able to test them with the upcoming micro FPV uh, racing quadcopters that I get and I will put these receivers in those and finally I will be able to fly these little micro FPV racing quadcopters with my Futaba radio as well so as soon as I set these things up I will also post a test video for all of you to see how the crossover receivers are actually performing